So today we're going to be unboxing the Samsung C27A750X. Now that is not, um, it's a pretty sort of difficult to understand name, but I'll be explaining what exactly is so cool and special about this product over the course of the unboxing. We're just going to get straight into it and we are going to break the seal on this guy. And well, oh, okay, well that seal was broken, but this one is not. There we are. And the cameraman who is helping me today is apparently having a look at a couple of these logos on the box here. So why don't we go through them really quickly. HDMI is pretty self-explanatory. Dual hinge, aha, dual hinge. So dual hinge allows you to conveniently position this monitor either above or to the side of your laptop very easily. Okay, USB hub, that's fairly self-explanatory. USB Ethernet, we'll get more into this later. USB 3.0 is supported and wireless. So this is a wireless product. So what makes a monitor wireless? More on that later as well. So let's have a look at the packing and the physical attributes. In case you guys are wondering about the getup, uh, it's game seven right now. And the Canucks are playing against the Bruins. It's only one nothing Bruins right now, but it's only the first period, so there's plenty of time for that to change. And uh, if any of our viewers are, are Boston fans, then I guess you might as well just unsubscribe now because, you know, we're never going to have any common ground ever. So, yeah, get off my channel, pretty much. Okay. There we go. Wow, this is a remarkably thin monitor. Check this out. So this is an LED backlit, full HD LCD monitor. Samsung is using every trick in the book to get the best possible viewing angles and the highest contrast ratios out of this particular screen. I mean, look how thick that is here. Let me pull up my iPhone so you guys can see for comparison how thick it is. Look at that. And it's actually quite light, even though it is a 27 inch full HD 1080p monitor as well. I can quite easily hold this up with one hand. So let's have a look at the dual hinge design real quick here. So there we go. The dual hinge design allows us to either position it down low, which if you have a notebook next to it is very convenient means you can much more easily align the bottom screen of your notebook, the bottom of the screen on your notebook with the bottom of the screen for your monitor. But you've also got another hinge on the back. And I'll, sh I'll show you how the hinge at the back works in a second, but let me just do that first. So the second hinge at the back allows us to position it up higher should we so desire like that. So then it's more like a conventional monitor. All right, so let's have a look. Once again, more physical attributes. So the on-screen display is handled right here. This is where you can select your input. These are your navigation buttons. Power is right here. All right, wireless connection is here. And like I said, more on that in a moment. Let's move around to the side here where you can see the built-in USB 3.0 ports, HDMI in, as well as a headphone jack. Moving around to the back, we have more stuff. So there's our power. There's our USB PC in. So you can actually connect to this monitor via USB. All right, LAN as well as uh, VGA in. Moving around to the other side, we've got a couple more USB ports. So those are USB 2.0. So there's four USB ports total, two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0. Okay, a few more, few more looks at the overall appearance of the monitor itself. You've got a beautiful brushed finish on the stand. So can, can you really see that here in the light that we have in this room? Yeah, good. Okay, very, very glossy back to the monitor itself with the Samsung branding here. So you can see how shiny it is because you can see my Canucks logo here in the back of the monitor in all likelihood. Okay, the front of the screen is using what is my preferred uh, screen type and that is a matte screen. So that means that uh, you actually have to build a much higher quality product in order to achieve excellent color reproduction on a matte screen. Often you use glossy screens to make things look more vibrant. Whereas with a matte screen, you can't really use that hack. Here we have um, pretty much more of the same that we saw in the front. So I'll be back in just a moment here guys to tell you about some of the cool features in this monitor. All right, guys, so let's go through the package contents here. We've got our power brick, which is quite small. That is to be expected. This is a power efficient LED backlit LCD monitor. 
We have a USB 3 cable, okay? We have a power cord for the power brick. We have a VGA cable, just in case you need one. We also have a disc that you may actually need. It has the user's manual as well as Samsung Central Station setup. We have a cleaning cloth and then some quick setup guide and other documentation. Now this, this is where the magic happens. Okay, so basically there's two different ways to use this monitor as your central hub for your PC. One is to connect via USB 3 or USB 2. USB 2 is, uh, it is backwards compatible with USB 2. So you connect this guy in here and then you just plug this into either a USB 3 or a USB 2 port. But USB 3 will give you better performance or you can actually do this wirelessly and you can connect to the monitor that is display LAN all wirelessly from your PC to the monitor. So the other, let's just go in summary, the main features of this monitor are the wireless or wired connectivity to your PC, where instead of having a notebook where you, you know, you get into the office and you plug it into a dock and it's got your peripherals all connected, instead you plug it right into your monitor or don't even plug it into your monitor, just use this and you can plug all of your peripherals into the built-in USB hub and all of the data is transmitted that way. The other big features are the dual hinge, so that allows you to bring it right down close to the table, if I can. Yes, there we go. Right down close to the table so that it's going to be more ergonomic to use with a notebook. The next one is power consumption. So you've got the LED backlight. You've also got a few different eco modes on the monitor. So you can actually just manually select how much power consumption you want the monitor to have versus how much uh, backlight brightness and uh, things that consume more power you want it to have. And it also has some cool automatic power savings with respect to this guy. So once you disconnect your PC from it, turns itself off. When you connect your PC to it, it turns itself back on. Now that is not a completely off state, but it is going to dramatically reduce the power consumption compared to having it not uh, off. Um, also, Samsung claims this has pretty much the best viewing angle that they are capable of achieving, as well as excellent color reproduction. This is a truly high-end product from Samsung. It has all the latest bells and whistles, including bells and whistles that didn't even really exist yet. And thank you for checking out my unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other videos. And uh, go Canucks, go.